Ash, how are you all doing? So, it's almost the Easter holidays, and so today we're going to start off with one of our Easter stories. But before we start our story, shall we have a look what's in our box? Oh, let's give it a shake. Oh, there's something in there, I can hear it, but it's not very heavy. Shall we have a look? Okay, let's open it. Oh, look what's inside. I wonder if you can see that. It's a donkey. He's quite a nice little donkey, isn't he? I wonder if he's got a name. Okay, well, today we're gonna to hear a story that's all about Jesus and a donkey. So shall we go and have a look at the story and see where our donkey is? Keep an eye out, won't you? See you soon, bye. So Stella wanted to help tell our story today, didn't you Stella? So I thought, Shall we let her? She always does a really good job, doesn't she? So let's listen to our story with Stella. Dave the donkey was so excited. He'd been watching all week for Grandpa Donkey to get back from Jerusalem. Dave had some big news he'd been waiting to share with him. Grandpa, Grandpa, guess what? I carried the king into Jerusalem. You're joking, Dave. No, Grandpa, I carried the king. I was standing out the front, minding my own business, when the king's servant untied me and led me to the king. The king jumped on my back. We charged down the hill and up the mountain to Jerusalem. The crowd waved palm branches and everyone cheered. Hooray for the king! Long live the king! We said goodbye and headed home, leaving the king to get on with the job of being king. So Grandpa, you've been in Jerusalem since then. Tell me what happened next. Did the crowd keep cheering for the king? Well Dave, the crowd were yelling for the king. Wow, said Dave, and I'm sure all the leaders came to meet him. Yes, sighed Grandpa, the king did meet all the leaders. And Grandpa, they would have placed a golden crown upon the king's head. They certainly crowned the king, but it wasn't made of gold. The throne, Grandpa, they must have led the king into the palace and sat him on the throne and cheered, Long live the king! No, Dave, sighed Grandpa, there was no throne. They led the king out of Jerusalem and they nailed him to a cross. A cross? So, so the king, the king is dead? No, Dave. The king was dead. The king was placed in a tomb and the tomb was sealed with a heavy stone. But now the king is alive. He was dead but the tomb is empty and the king is alive. Dave stared across the valley to Jerusalem as the strange and wonderful news rolled through his mind. The king was dead but now he is alive. Grandpa asked Dave, did you ever carry someone special that you will never forget? Yes, Dave, said Grandpa. As a matter of fact, I did. It was a long time ago, on a starry night like this, I carried someone special that I will never forget. Long live the king, Dave. Long live the king. <laughs> <laughs> 